Welcome to Queues by Tinkerlist. If you want to get started with Queues, logging in or registering a new account is very easy. If you already have an account, enter your email address, follow the steps and log in to your existing organization and project. If you are new to Queues, simply click Create New Account and follow the steps. Let's start by entering our email address. Then click to register, enter or paste your confirmation codes, Enter your name, select a password, set your language, enter a phone number if needed, agree to the terms and the privacy policy, and then continue. Now you can set up your organization. So let's give our organization a name, let's call it maybe Sports Demo. You can choose from different types of shows that you can create for your organization. For now, let's stick to a sports show. Our company is 20 to 40 people, and we can now create our organization. In the next step, we create a project within our organization. Within one organization, you can have multiple projects. Maybe you have a talk show, a news show, a sports show, esports, or something else. So you can create a project for each of these types of show. For now, let's stick to our sports example. We can also upload a logo for our project here if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's go ahead and create our project. And here we are in the episode overview, ready to start creating content. In the top left corner, we have our project switcher. When we click here, if you are part of multiple organizations or multiple projects, using the project switcher will allow you to either switch between organizations or create a new one, or also switch between projects or create a new one. If you want to manage your account, you can go in the top right corner. Go to my account and then make your changes as needed. One of the changes you can do is add a profile photo so your colleagues can more easily recognize you when you are working in the same episode. Here you can also change your name, your email address and password. There we go, our changes are now saved. Using the same menu in the top right corner, we can also change the appearance of cues. If for example you prefer working in dark mode, so we can switch to dark. If you want to stay in light mode, we can simply go back to light. And that is it for a general introduction to cues. Please have a look at our next videos to find out how to use and create your first episodes.